welcome to my channel and if you're new to my channel welcome to you so i'm going to be reading for the lovely star sign of gemini so gemini if you're new to my channel then obviously i'll just hope that this uh, information in this message is relevant at that time because it's not um, time specific as we work through the readings my lovelies i will be drawn to one of my oils here so I'll look out for that as we go along I have got a fan going on in the background today so i hope it's not going to be picked up too much of an annoyance but it's quite warm here in the uk for a change so with all that said and done let's get on with your reading and see what's coming out for gemini what have we got for the gem gem gems so i'll dig in Oh, we've got emotions, emotions coming in. And the message reads, you are awash with unexpressed emotions. Say exactly what you feel. It is safe for you to speak your truth. So some of you could be bottling things up at the moment, okay, with the emotions going on here. Um, so let's open this up a little bit more then. So we've got sensitive issues going on around you something that uh, somebody might have said um has caused you a little bit of upset and you're sort of bottling that in okay and we've got abundance coming in that's a lovely card but then again with the abundance because it's financial matters there could be some issues with finances around you so we need to dig a little bit deeper here because you've always got a positive and a negative on a reading okay but yeah abundance and emotions so there could be sort of money issues money worries if not around you around somebody else okay causing you concern you can also on the flip side be a positive and um, it's unexpected money coming in for you and we have morning dew girl uh, and this is quite um, this is quite a sensitive card as well so if you look at the artwork on this she's holding sort of a basket which is in the shape of a leaf and the dew is sort of falling out here and down but i also look at this as like tears and we've got the number 13 okay so there's some kind of feeling of you might have had a running of bad luck recently and you're thinking to yourself when is this going to change and there's upset here and it's strange that's come out because we've got the emotions card at the start you need to speak your truth so some of you could be bottling up something up okay or somebody around you is bottling some kind of emotion uh, but that needs to you know um start to come out because if you don't talk about things sometimes then they can have a negative effect on our health so let's have a look what else is coming out Yeah, there's some kind of um, upset here, some sensitivity issues going on. It could be to do with finances, as I said, or, or there's somebody struggling and it's affecting their, um, affecting them mentally, physically. And we've got Lorelei. I always look at this as a controlling element can you see how she's sort of holding the boat there holding the anchor so she's stopping the boat from leaving okay so that the boat is literally stuck at the moment being controlled by somebody else so Gemini, there's a situation around you at the minute where you feel like you've got no control on it's in somebody else's hands in somebody else's hands let's open this up a little bit more trying to keep your head above water or trying to keep somebody else's head above water in the financial situation It also mean you need to get control on your financial situation as well. 
something here about, you know, it's like it's all the energy of keeping afloat, keeping afloat, trying to carry on. But in doing this, it's taking toll because of the tears, the inward tears. And we've got sacred reverence. I want to look at that card. It's a beautiful card because it says, oh, the universe is aware here. They are aware that you are struggling, but they are offering you a key to unlock this situation, this energy that you are in at the minute. And my voice is going again. When my voice goes in a reading, it's to do with, one, you need to stop bottling things up and allow things to come out. And also, the emotion. I'm picking up your emotion here. Feeling choked, feeling upset. It's as though the world wants to give you a hug. Okay, the universe is aware of the pressures you're under. And it's like, they just want to embrace and they are sending out this energy to you and release all this what you are feeling at the minute i want to add up the four and seven and go with eleven okay now some of you could be having synchronicities of seeing eleven eleven at the minute and this is the universe just saying, hang in there, things are going to change. Okay. I am pulled uh, to one of my oils for you. And it's this one. Into the blue. I'm just going to give it a shake. Into the blue. into the blue let yourself go into the unknown there is so much waiting for you if you find the courage to embrace what sometimes we cannot explain not everything requires an explanation Those who don't believe in magic will never find it. So yeah, into the blue. So let yourself go into the unknown. In other words, I feel I was drawn to this. One for the colour blue, to bring calmness back in, okay? And a sense of stop worrying. And I know that's easier said than done, but... Just trust in the universe process here, okay? You need to believe that magic exists, okay? So, yeah, just give that another little shake to get the energy going for you. I love these little bottles. They're like another little world. Into the blue. So, what else have we got going on for Gemini? And we've got metamorphosis, okay? Metamorphosis here. So there is change coming in. There is big change coming in for you. We've got the butterflies here of transformation. The 25th could be important. So we'll go with the 25th of the following month whenever you hear this reading that a change, um, a shift is going to be coming in for you. Let's have a look at your animal spirit message we got for Gemini there's two there so I'm going to go with what they want me to bring out so we have wow the mouse alchemical sign of earth and look at the darkness here and I also look at the mouse as insignificant and this is your energy at the minute you could feel insignificant or somebody around you could feel you know that you're in the dark here um but look at the light that's breaking through again there's a release here coming in 
and the other card that came in wow no wonder that had to be two for you and it's the alchemical sign of air and it's the owl now birds are about communication so some good news is going to be coming in for you and i feel it is around the 25th of that following month and this is just to come in to say have the knowledge okay have the have the knowledge that things are going to change for you keep having that phrase come through um you're better than this you're better than this so there's something about um for a small minority of you know your self-worth at the minute don't put up with something it's like they're telling me for you not to put up with something you're worth better than this okay you're more knowledgeable than this and at the minute you're sort of uh, in a made to feel small somebody's trying to make you feel small but you seem to know more about the situation than they do it's that kind of a vibe now then the next card um it's a new deck so i'm going to read out of the little booklet it's called color mirrors i've always been a big believer of color affecting our aura so i've started to look into the color mirror, mirror system um so let's have a shuffle of the cards and see what comes out for you So, what have we got for Gemini? And for you, Gemini, we have the card of Gold Angel, Expansion and Visibility, number 12. Okay, so also take 12 of the following month, because that could also be significant for some of you. So let's find out what the gold represents then. Gold, gold, gold. Gold angel. The gold angel. So it reads, the energy of this angelic being instantly clears away negativity and puts you in a place where you feel you have power to make decisions you have reached a stage on your journey where you are asked to step up and become more visible with your work and teachings your work is a reflection and action of who you are if you love what you do your entire being exists in that state of love that love is then what you offer the world through your work and actions you are safe to expand your ideas and become a leader and all limitations are now being removed. Take a last look at how small you have kept yourself and step into your power and let the world see who you have become. Your brave step into the golden light will ensure success, financial stability and more abundance than you could possibly imagine. The world is waiting for you to share with humanity your power and love. How strange that had to come out, that, that card, because we have abundance there. And it also says, um, take a last look at how small you have kept yourself, okay? And step into your power and let the world see who, who you have become. And how ironic is that? Because didn't I say the insignificance that how small the mouse and then we have the wise owl. Okay, so as I said before, there's somebody don't let somebody um you know make you feel underminded, not give you the worth that you so desire, okay? So, my lovely Geminis, I hope you can take something from that reading. If you are new to my channel, guys, um, any emojis, any kind of interaction helps my analytics. So, um, it's because I've been off here a while and I sort of need to build up my status again, which is annoying, to say the least. I'm not, that's, a, that's not even a story to go into because it makes me so upset. But, yeah, I'm not going to offload my emotions onto you gemini when you have enough of your own <laughs> so my lovely gemini's until next time you take care of you and i'll see you then